My name is Ed Drew. I'm an artist and I created the series We Hold These Truths American Veterans of Arkansas on display in the Mosaic Templars Cultural Center at Heritage Museum of Arkansas. Um, when, when people look at this series, I really don't want them to consider us so much as military people or people that were in the military as I want us to first think of us, I want them to first think of us as people, always people. That's why I didn't stress that they wear their uniforms or bring uniform items. I think there's one person or two, three people with uniform items only because they chose to. But it was something they asked, like, oh, should I wear my uniform? And I'm like, wear a t-shirt, <laughs> wear a, you know, an A-shirt, tank top if you want. I don't care what you wear. Show me what, who you are and what you want me to show to other people. My intent was to give people a voice and I allowed them to have that voice by uh, I would spend two hours sometimes talking to them before I took the photo. And, and that's the strength of my work is the person. And that's what I care about. I care about the person and oh yeah, I took this photo. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I was born and raised in a uh, in Brooklyn. Um, I grew up in Bensonhurst and at the time it was primarily Italian Americans. Who I am influences everything I do in my artwork. So even the notions of black veterans and, and my ideas of why I want to do these photos and stuff has something to do with my upbringing. So growing up in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, New York, surrounded by Italian Americans, um, I did not have a great sense of who I was as a person, especially as a black male. I got it because the notion of being black in America is, is less, is to be lesser. It's in everything. So um, even though I was raised in this, this part of New York City um, that is considered or was considered racist and, and just xenophobic, I never had a problem, but I still got the notions and uh, that's, in my upbringing, that was really important. So that's where I was from. Uh, and then I joined the military when I was 18. A really important aspect of, of, this, of this series was the transformation within myself um, that I really want people to understand. I struggled with being black growing up. Again, it wasn't external. It wasn't an external force directly. It was kind of like a within the narrative of the country. Um, I hated being black. I I ultimately remember tears being shed because I was so upset about being black, and I was angry at my mom for being with a black person because she was Puerto Rican. I was like, if I was Puerto Rican, at least I could kind of have straight hair and. I wouldn't look so, like, I wouldn't have this wide nose and stuff as much. And that, thinking about it now, I'm like, oh, goodness, you know, that's just a terrible way of thinking about oneself. But I maintained that self-hatred for a long time. So this series was, is also part of an effort of reconciliation. Not just with the, you know, changing the dynamic of the country's operating system, but it's also um, a way for me to, to love myself and in it love other black people. I'm saying I need, I, I need to find that pride that this, this country denies us. Um, and it's really good to the point where people within our, our race, uh, within black people's black race, are much like me or when I was growing up there's th I'm not special and I would convey this to some of the people who sat for me and, and they weren't surprised at all they were like yeah you know like, that's that's not a special thing there's a lot of black people who just don't have any self-appreciation and who hate themselves what the series did for me when I met these people was it, it really it gave me pride 
so many, most of those people in, in those photos are accomplished with not only degrees, but also like within life, a, a strong, you know, a religious, they have strong characters is what I mean. So, it, you know, they degrees, um, accomplishments in the military, strong characters, all these positive things. And it made me feel so proud to be who I was. And I think that's really important. I think everybody should be proud of who they are. And, um, and, and this series did that for me. And I, I would walk away after the photo and I, I'd be smiling because I was like, wow, that person is, man, I feel good about myself. So, um, I, I hope it does that for other people. I, I really hope this series can have a, a young black boy and a young white kid or Asian or whoever look at these individuals and feel some sort of pride in, in either humanity or themselves or, or just the spirit of, of, of um, art and, and, and what people can accomplish.